So one thing I really enjoy about this church is that the fact that all my friends can come together and eat together and sit at one table like you would with your family because it, in reality, it brings everyone closer together and stuff. My friends and I, we can go into community together. We can invite new friends and like the church is all willing and accepting to like almost everyone. Well, one of my favorite events, oh my gosh, that's hard. Well, mainly it, the events make it interesting to make it fun that, that we can all just enjoy. And as we have fun, we can learn about God. And I just really appreciate that. That way they kids like me aren't just like, oh my gosh, this is so boring. I can't just help myself. That they add a little fun into it to make kids actually interested in the fact. But as they get older, they realize that it's the, it's the real deal here that they did all of those events to put to pull them closer to God and God really wants them to realize that He loves them so much. Well, right now is a very exciting time in children's ministry. The last two weeks we have set a record on children attending. Um, and this is from preschool through kindergarten. Our first Wednesday night event, we had from preschool to fifth grade, we had 41 kids, which was a record um, since I've been here. And last night we did our wild and wacky water Wednesday and we had 61 children. I'm very blessed by all the volunteers that we had. Um, but our ministry is growing and we have a lot of exciting things planned for the upcoming year. These wouldn't be possible without donations for the church. Um, I think, and I know it's probably because I'm over children's ministry, but I think that they are the foundation of the church. This is our future. Um, and we are dedicated to making the children feel safe, loved, accepted, and energized about learning about Jesus. I think that a lot of people think that the youth are the future of the church, but a lot of them are already members of the church. And so they are the church right now. I'm very excited about the fall semester and the excitement and momentum that we have going is contagious towards the rest of the church too. When adults come and see the excitement that our youth have, they also get excited about what the Lord is doing here. So what does a living church look like? I've seen snapshots of it. Last Wednesday, it looked like 60 youth running around the building playing an advanced game of Clue with characters uh, outfitted by our adult staff. Two Sundays ago, it looked like a nursery attendant receiving a baby as a new family came to visit our church. Last Sunday, it looked like three youth participating in the popular service, one as a crossbearer and two as acolytes. Those things take resources, it takes staff, it takes materials, and your generosity makes that happen it makes a living church possible.